Someone has to make him understand. Vladimir Putin is supposed to be president. So he must be made somehow to know that he has taught many, many of us demoralized. We are now fleeing from crazy war in Ukraine. Some of us are surrendering without a fight. Our forces are rapidly running out of food and fuel. Some are looting while others I have seen are even sabotaging our own military equipment and indeed to get out of this May, insane war. Many comrades have been weeping, indeed, to their family. We had not been given idea of what to expect in Ukraine. Some of our military are disobeying orders from Moscow to shell Ukrainian towns. One soldier I know has texted his mother saying, the only thing I want right now is to kill myself. I was shocked. Because for a long time, I thought that military operation was not feasible. We were told we were going on exercises. It's so hard for me also to get his thinking of what he really had in his thoughts when he made this decision. Our mother country, Russia's forces, now face major issues as Putin hopes of quick takeover. The country have been dead. Some units run out of food and food. Some troops are highly uh, inexperienced. They do not even know they were being sent to combat. I have seen comrade soldiers desperate to avoid combat who deliberately punched holes in their vehicles, petrol tanks, and there are uh, Russian military vehicles abandoned by troops even when they are fully fueled and loaded. Under our control, deadly thermobaric tank, so-called vacuum bomb, which is so beyond humanity, it is monstrous. To use an everyday Ukrainian civilian people beside me, near to me right now, is an abandoned Russian short-range air defense system, a Tormi-2, left by Comrade troops. This is not our war. Ukraine mothers, wives, collect your husbands. There is no need to be here what Russia wants from war. I not understand. Hospitals, schools, babies group buildings destroyed by bombs. Our bombs. Whole families trying to flee carnage have been shot by us in cold blood. Bodies left lying in streets. No one even picks up the corpse. There are no funerals. This madness has to end. I never think I would say this. We wish now that one brave soul will seize moment and put bullet in head of Putin. We need whole world to soon see Putin in coffin. Then and only then might it reach time of concluding.